Hello everyone and welcome back to the Node.js course. In this lesson, you will learn about how to save data in MongoDB using Mongos. In previous lesson, we created our schema and the model. In our models folder, this is the file that we created. First, we import our Mongos package here using require method and then we created instance of schema using this constructor. Okay. Now this is our block schema. It including title, snippet, body, and each one have type of history, and then everything is required. Okay. Now we have time step property. Now this is our model, and we just export that into other files. Okay. Now let's go back to our express app. This is our app.js file. The first thing that we want to do is create a route handler for a page below. I'm going to go ahead and say app.get and here the path will be add hyphen blog. Okay. Now this will include request and the response object. Request and the response. Now let's create the callback function equals ending angle bracket and then curly braces okay and let's add some comment here mongos and mongodb sandbox routes okay then the next thing that we have to do is here create an instance of our block model that we export here all we have to do is go back to our express app in the top we have to say require method now i'm going to say the name as block and it is equals to require method and then we are passing in dot forward slash and the folder name is models we can find this block.js file then models forward slash blog okay that is it now here in the our callback function we can create a instance of that we can say const and that is let's say blog and it is equals to new blog now we can create parentheses inside parentheses we have to pass in the object that we want to put as like this okay we have to pass title a snippet and the body now for that let's create braces inside braces we have to define the title the first one and let's say it is new block and let's provide the snippet colon and then the snippet will be about my new block and the next one is body and colon now the body will be literally it is more about my blog okay that is it all right now we can end up with the semicolon now we created the instance of blog model and pass in the required values to this schema okay the next thing that we have to do is say block dot save and then this save method is a asynchronous method that means this will take some time to happen okay we can identify if this finish or end up with the error if this finish we can tack on the then method here we have to create a callback function then we have to say parentheses inside this parentheses and then we have to say result now equals ending angle bracket and then braces all right now we can send something to our response we can say rest dot send inside that we can send our result okay now let's end up with the catch method here after ending of this parenthesis we can tack on catch method this will include the callback function and as the parameter we have to say error now it is equals an angle bracket 
and then braces okay now we can output the error console.log let's say err here all right that is it and let's save this and say nordman app in the terminal you have to say nordman app now open your browser and let's go to localhost and then the port number is 3000 okay we have our home page here before we are going to that ad block page we are going to check our mongodb collection let's go to our cluster in mongodb atlas and let's go to our collections now in our blocks we cannot see any kind of documents that means we have total documents of zero but let's go to our ad block page at hyphen blog now we have something like javascript object here and here we have title snippet body now we have time step here because in our schema we just use a option as time step here okay that's why we see something like that okay also we have automatically generated id for that document now let's check our collection click refresh here all right this is our data and we have total documents of one all right that is it and i'll see you in the next lecture thank you